Sorry, John Iberg, a.k.a. Winnie Tyberg, a.k.a. Biker John. My World Upon Wheels, retired World Bike Tour. And uh, it's about uh, 14.30 or so on the 15th of April, 2023. And I am... Uh, going to this is a video I'm making because I would like to live stream this be, but there's no internet connection I'm it's pretty remote so I'm going to video this and then I'll transmit it later I'm getting very close to the pass um, what I want to show here the dynamic change in the arboreal growth we now have mature conifers out here and uh, coming up from scrub from scrub doesn't scrub okay is this the pass I'm getting very close I know I am beautiful beautiful out here and it is hey it's indeed I knew I was getting close you can tell by the because of the the uh, more dense growth of the uh, mature trees. Salis Pass, elevation 6,436 feet. Uh, let's see. Can I close it on that? There we go. And I am westbound on US 180. Overnighted in uh, Glenwood. And I've been underway since then. So let's go ahead and Gordon Pass. I'll terminate this in a moment. This is the pass. Uh, I've got about uh, less than 20 miles, less than 32 clicks to go to my destination of reserve, where I have made a reservation at the Mountaineer Motel. Will it be all downhill? No, I kind of doubt it. It hasn't been all uphill getting here. But, but uh, it has been uphill for pretty steady for the past uh, two and a half, three miles. That's uh, what, uh, four, four, to, uh, four to five clicks. Okay, I'm careful now. This is the sign, by, uh, a smoking bear sort of sign. Looking, I'm crossing over. We look at the verse of it. It says, one careless moment prevents wildfire. Prevent wildfire. There's another sign over here. I can't see it very well. Let's see if we can get to it and read it a little bit. Uh, it, this says, this has, area is closed to forward cutting until watershed conditions improve. Uh, I, and I'm guessing watershed conditions meaning you you have more gra uh, growth that'll, that will uh, catch any water instead of just water just eroding okay let's see what the i'm sure this is a smoking bear sign on this side let's take a look let's have a look see oh it's not <laughs> that's okay uh i'm going to make sure to cross over safely signal and this is uh us 180 uh westbound i am getting a headwind but i'm going downhill i've got uh gravity in my favor and this has been some interesting one has been kind of interesting because a lot of times when i am uh bike touring i will i will count telephone poles there have been no telephone poles in fact the high power lines we see ahead that's as close as we can count with telephone poles and there's no way i'm going to be counting those but i am descending now you see that it looks like they've had a forest fire through here and it's, it's just got back but there is uh, getting more down in altitude when you have uh, decreased altitude you have decrease in the condensation from the from the uh, uh, atmosphere okay I'm, I'm doing about 20 miles per hour, 30, 32 clicks an hour. I'm, I don't need to rush down this. I didn't, need, I didn't rush up it. I'm certainly not going to rush down it. I have good brakes. Okay, if you go labor, you come up here. That's good. I'm taking my lane. Big wave. 
they go up. Okay, yeah, this is uh, that's my marker 30. That means I've got about 15 miles to go to the cutoff. So I just passed the sign that had 17 miles to reserve. So it's 10 miles, and I understand it's 7 miles from uh, US 180 on New Mexico 12. So it's 10 miles to the junction with, uh, I guess it's New Mexico 12. US 80 will continue west, and New Mexico 12 will kind of go north. That's fine with me. This is nice because this is this is nice because I'm that hell I'm not using too much battery. I, I need to pedal uh, I need to pedal a little bit here. My before my uh, I'm not going to let it pass until I see it safe. 
Now, go ahead and pass me. Go. There are people out there in the USA uh, who will just get in front of other other vehicles and they're stuck and they're really big to pass at all. But I've got another big one. I've got a lot of people that pass until I see that it's safe. And I've got to see enough ahead. Okay, go ahead and pass me. I'm going to slow down so you can go past me. Very good. I don't know what he has people there. Who might have disagreed? Okay. It is partially populated, but so the school buses will run a long ways out here. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I guess it's also just free range. US 180 West. Okay, let's see what I have up here. What's this sign for it? For Cafe Motel. I don't know if that's what I'm for. A bakery espresso. Six miles ahead. Oh, that's the. No, I had thought I. No, I couldn't get that far. I was lucky to make it to Glenwood. The uh, was almost lodge last night, and if I had tried to make it to that cafe motel, that would have been that would have been too much. And it's not far enough along for me to want to stop there again. To stop and stay there tonight. I'll stop and stay in uh, Reserve at the Mountaineer. Turkey season. Maybe he is making a joke with me. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I said yes when he asked me that earlier, but I didn't really hear the question. But he's looking for turkey. He's going to. Let's see, it's not. Let's see, but turkey's good eating. In fact, when I took my nooner, I had a cheese and turkey sandwich. Still descending. Oh, we're going to descend a little bit more. They got a little bit 
more rise. There's a camping area. They're stopped. Maybe they're seeing turkey. That, that's a good place to terminate this. Okay, I'm, I'm doing a UE here. Dachi National Forest Campground. And it's great. Got one. No, I, I do love the camp. And uh, sometime when I'm equipped otherwise, that is with a motor vehicle, I'll do some camping. Anyway, thank you very much for going over the pass with me. Soy John Iber, aka Winito Iber, aka Biker John, my World of Palm Wheels, retired World Bike Tour. And today is the 15th of April, and it's probably about 1600. And I'm uh, going to head up toward, uh, head on over to, uh, toward reserve. Real, well, within, within an hour, I expect to be in reserve. Que ten buen día. Adios.